our other big breaking story today in the world of sports. We're hoping to learn more about some major changes unfolding with the Bears coaching staff. So let's check in with Fox Radio Sports reporter Cassie Carlson, who joins us live with the very latest outside Hallis Hall. Cassie. Hi, Anthony. Well, we are waiting to go into Hallis Hall at 3 o'clock to hear from GM Ryan Poles, head coach Matt Eberflus, along with president and CEO Kevin Warren after it was announced today that Matt Eberflus has fired offensive coordinator Luke Getze along with some of the offensive position coaches, including quarterbacks coach Andrew Janoko, wide receivers coach Tyke Tolbert, running backs coach Omar Young, and assistant tight ends coach Tim Zetz. Now, this decision comes after the Bears passing game in offense failed to show consistency over just in field second season as the Bears starting quarterback and you look at what what Luke Getze has really struggled this season that is finding ways to use Justin Fields short yarded situations and really really struggling to put up points consistently in this offseason you look at the past three away games the Bears only scored one touchdown across that span then you're also listening to what some of the players had to say about Luke Getze it was after the Packers loss in the locker room where DJ Moore said he thought the play calling in that game was quote fine but he wished that they were more explosive and less conservative so now Matt Eberflus who will be returning for his third season as head coach is going to be tasked with hiring both an offensive coordinator and a defensive coordinator. But some reports are saying that he is expected to continue calling the defensive plays next season as well. Now, when talking about Matt Eberflus and the job he has done to help retain his head coaching position, you look at the way that the defense performed ever since he took over the defensive play calling specifically looking at the run game numbers. Number one in run defense. They were also one of the top teams in interceptions this season so far. So he did lead a turnaround in that aspect. And a lot of players have really have really credited him for keeping the locker room together after an 0-4 start to the season. So we will wait to hear what Ryan Poles and Matt Eberflus had have to say at 3 o'clock along with Kevin Warren. Of course, we are going to be asking questions as well as if there's any inclination of what Ryan Poles is going to do with the number one overall draft pick. Is he going to keep Justin Fields or trade him away. We'll keep you updated as we learn more.